Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that the universe holds? The enigmatic origins of powerful cosmic rays have always been a subject of fascination. Today, we delve into the discovery of an extremely rare, ultra-high energy particle that has left scientists astounded. This particle, invisible to the naked eye, is believed to have traveled to Earth from beyond the Milky Way galaxy. It possesses energy equivalent to dropping a brick on your toe from waist height. Intriguing, isn't it? This particle, known as the Amaterasu particle, named after the sun goddess in Japanese mythology, rivals the single most energetic cosmic ray ever observed, the Oh My God particle that was detected in the early 90s. Cosmic rays are charged particles that rain down on Earth constantly. While low energy cosmic rays can emanate from the sun, extremely high energy ones are exceptional. They are thought to travel to Earth from other galaxies and extragalactic sources. The origins of these high energy particles aren't entirely clear, despite years of research. They are thought to be related to the most energetic phenomena in the universe, such as those involving black holes, gamma ray bursts and active galactic nuclei. However, the biggest discovered so far appear to originate from voids or empty space, where no violent celestial events have taken place. The Amaterasu particle was spotted by a cosmic ray observatory in Utah's West Desert known as the Telescope Array. This observatory, which started operating in 2008, is made up of over 500 ping-pong table-sized surface detectors covering an area of 700 square kilometers. It has observed more than 30 ultra-high energy cosmic rays, but none bigger than the Amaterasu particle, which struck the atmosphere above Utah on May 27, 2021. The event triggered 23 of the surface detectors, with a calculated energy of about 244 exa-electron volts. For reference, one exa-electron volt equals 1 billion giga-electron volts, and one giga-electron volt is 1 billion electron volts. That would make the Amaterasu particle an astounding 244 quintillion electron volts. By comparison, the typical energy of an electron in the polar aurora is 40,000 electron volts. An ultra-high energy cosmic ray carries tens of millions of times more energy than any human-made particle accelerator, such as the Large Hadron Collider, the most powerful accelerator ever built. What is required is a region of very high magnetic fields, like a supersized Large Hadron Collider, but natural. And the conditions required are really exceptional, so the sources are very, very rare, and the particles are dissipated into the vast universe. The discovery of the Amaterasu particle is a milestone in the study of cosmic rays. It raises questions about unknown astronomical phenomena and physical origins beyond the standard model. Its detection also underlines the importance of continuous exploration and study of our universe. As we continue to uncover its secrets, we move closer to understanding the intricate workings of the cosmos. The discovery of the Amaterasu particle is not just a scientific breakthrough, it's a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and the boundless mysteries of the universe that await us. The source of the ultra-high energy particles baffles scientists. Matthews, a co-spokesman for the Telescope Array collaboration, said the two biggest recorded cosmic rays appeared sort of random. When their trajectories are traced back, there appears to be nothing high energy enough to produce such particles. The Amaterasu particle, specifically, seemed to originate from what's known as the local void, an empty area of space bordering the Milky Way galaxy. If you take the two highest energy events, the one that we just found, the Oh My God particle, those don't even seem to point to anything. It should be something relatively close. Astronomers with visible telescopes can't see anything really big and really violent, Matthews said. It comes from a region that looks like a local empty space. It's a void. So what the heck's going on? An expansion to the telescope array may provide some answers. Once completed, 500 new detectors will allow the telescope array to capture cosmic ray-induced particle showers across 2,900 square kilometers, about 1,120 square miles, an area nearly the size of Rhode Island, according to the University of Utah statement. 